Hey, what's going on dudes? My name is TDC and welcome back to another episode here on the Iron Mind server. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic today. I appreciate you coming to hang out with me today because we got a special episode. Well, not really special. I mean, it's just another episode. Well, did we just go... Oh, okay, no, we're at 11,000. I thought this hit 113,000 for some reason. I was like, what just happened? Um, but yeah, so today we got some stuff to check out. Um, last episode I was talking to you about how I was collecting all the materials and the resources we needed to make the industrial crafter, or the industrial grinder, that's what it's called, and, uh, I got the stuff. <laughs> I have so much stuff in here, it's crazy, so we have just a lot, and I think we're ready to do this, but there goes all my stuff. <laughs> it's all gone, unfortunately, but I think this guy is going to help us out quite a bit, so the next thing after this... I need to start collecting resources for the industrial forge, which we're almost there. I'm level 79 right now, so this is not too far off, and we just need to be ready for it whenever we get it. Um, I did get a new gun. We'll check that out here in just a minute. But let's see. Is this going to fit over here? I feel like it's going to. Kind of. Let's clip it on the right-hand side. Uh, but that's fine. No big deal. Wow, I'm getting <laughs> I'm getting kind of good at lining things up by eye. I mean, that was like pretty close. Oh no. Um I feel like that's pretty good there. Maybe pull it over just a little bit more. This is probably not the best spot for it. But it's not terrible either. And it does make me nervous placing the stuff on this. So um yeah, I just don't want the thing to collapse and then we have big issues. <laughs> but yeah, so this guy is pretty cool. So it looks like we can craft stuff from Aberration, which is pretty neat. Um, which I don't think we'll really be able to do this anyway because I don't have anything learned from Aberration. You actually have to go to the map to learn those recipes. But looks like we can craft all the stuff we need from... Um, Scorched Earth. So the cactus sap and the sand and stuff like that, I probably won't be doing just because it takes salt for a blood pack or blood pack for salt. Strange. But yeah, so I think most of this stuff we won't really be getting into. Me, angler gel for silk? That seems a little expensive. I don't know. But uh, really, we're only going to be doing it for this. So we'll have to craft some of the cactus sap and then the sulfur. Oh, that's cheap. It only takes poop. <laughs> that's nice. And then I have tons of sap. That's why I've been collecting all that sap from this tap over here. And uh, we should have like plenty of it to go around. So I've just kind of been collecting that whenever I think about it and stored it in this cabinet here. So I mean, we got a ton. So I'm going to take 20. I want to see how much it actually uses uh, or how much it actually creates from one sap. So let's give this a shot. Oh, that's a mistake. <laughs> we could have gotten a little further back. That's fine, though. So this... Oh, it takes 20 for one craft. Okay, so let's see how much we get. 10 cactus for 20 sap. Eh, I mean, that's a decent payoff. And then the sulfur. I've got tons of ploop. Ploop. <laughs> ploop. That's my new favorite word, ploop. Um, now, i got tons of poop, man. These horses, they're almost better than Fiomias, man. I have gotten so much feces from these dudes that you'd think that <laughs> these guys had some sort of bowel problem, but they don't, because check this out, I have this much fertilizer here, and then both of these chests right here, the double double tall chests are full. Like, I have so much fertilizer, it's insane. Um, hopefully we won't run out, and I still just, I keep collecting and filling these guys, it's just like I run by, I pick up all the poop and do its thing. So if we put this in here, we can make sulfur. Oh, so it doesn't matter the size of poop. You still just get three. Or it still just takes three. Interesting. Um, but to help out with this process, this guy, <laughs> he beat me to it. Um, I haven't even released last episode yet, so that's coming out tomorrow. And this is going to be probably Friday. We may do two episodes in a row. But uh, Gamma Dose, <laughs> one of the members here on the server, 
He has been gone for a while, and he said, I've been gone for a month, so here's a delayed package. One for eggs and one for poops. Or ploops now. <laughs> so I really do appreciate it because I was talking... I don't know if I was talking about this last episode or not, but I wanted one of these things to start collecting eggs and the poop so I don't have to pick it up with my uh, with my bare hands. You know, it's 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 wasteful. I'm running out of nylon gloves. It's just get kind of gross. So I think this is going to work out. And that's why I wanted the industrial grinder so I can make the propellant so I could run these things. So this is awesome. We're going to try this guy out. I really hope. Oh, I really hope that picking this up doesn't... Um... Can I just demolish it? Oh, it makes me so nervous because I was having problems when I was moving stuff around up here. It was just breaking things randomly. But I think the way I have it built now, it shouldn't do that. But it still just makes me really nervous picking things up <laughs> off the ground. Um, so yeah, let's try one of these things out. Uh, I don't know exactly where is the best place to put them. Or how big they are. Oh, they're kind of big. If I put it... Somewhere. Like, if I put this thing here, I wonder if it would put the poop in the dung beetles. We're gonna try it. So we should be able to pick this thing up, right? Yeah, pick up. Um, let's take a look in here. I had, this is, the radial menu since it's changed has really kind of bothered me because I use the middle mouse click to activate things, like to, to open this up, I can click my middle mouse, like scroll wheel, and these radial menus, they take, you have to hold and click, so I have to use my middle finger to hold down the middle mouse button, then I have to use my index finger to click the option, instead of just, <laughs> instead of just doing it all in one fluid motion. Um, collecting poop, eggs, paste, and pearls. Well, what do we get pearls from? Oh, the phoenixes, that's right. Stop poop, stop eggs, stop paste. Uh, disable poop distribution. Collecting human small, okay, so it's collecting everything. Right. If we put this in here, what happens? Activate. Oh my goodness, look at all that poop. <laughs> um, it doesn't. Let's see, are these guys... Can I see a range on this thing? Show range. Wow, that's actually... Huge range. Okay, so you should be filling this guy up, right? You got poop in you. Do you have poop? I can't... Can't see. Whoa, what? Oh, dude, you have poop in you too. So it just did does the poop all by itself. That is awesome. Okay. Uh, yeah, because I don't remember putting poop in those things. <laughs> they just, they just, they get poop automatically. And so, does it. Hold on, let me read. Collects dropped items, poop, ocatina paste, unfertilized eggs, and pearls from phoenixes. Distributes poop to nearby compost bins and dung beetles. And use a tech, okay, propellant for fuel. So we knew that. So it won't actually pull, I think the other thing from S plus pulls the fertilizer out of these guys and distributes it to crops, correct? I think it's like a, the, the farmer dude, or whatever it is. That is pretty awesome though. And so the other thing I was worried about, I was asking Gamma um, how long it takes for the fuel to run out. And he said he was gone for about a month and he just left a stack of 100 in there. And uh, it just did its thing. So that is pretty good to have, or pretty good to know. So we won't have to like fill this thing with fuel all the time, which is great. Now the other thing I'm wondering about <clears throat> is it's, the dung beetles, I don't know because I've put poop in them before where some of the, the nitric, whatever, the nitrogen level had dropped a little bit and they didn't seem to do anything with it. So I'm wondering if the poop that's in there right now, so you can see that the, the 
the nitrogen level dropped a little bit if it's actually going to place this into their inventory or if it's just kind of useless and going to be filling this thing up. So I have to kind of keep an eye on that and see. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty baller, man. I'm not going to lie. That is really, really cool. So thank you so much, man. I really do appreciate it. And uh, I think what we're also going to do today is we're going to hatch these eggs from your Mondan. We got these two. We still got to hatch them. And uh, we need to build like a little bit of a nursery thing going on. And, oh, let's see. I don't think I have the stuff to do it, though. I made a nanny. This thing here. But it takes honey for fuel, and I don't have any honey. <laughs> so, she's kind of useless to us at the moment. But I think with that, um, it kind of negates, like, some of the imprinting stuff. Like, we're going to hatch these guys, and they're going to imprint. But I don't have anything for the imprinting process. Wait. <laughs> I gotta get out of the habit of picking up the poop. How come these won't go in there? Can I not put stuff in here? Guess not. If I drop this, do you pick it up? No? <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna have to play around with that thing to kind of learn how it works, but uh. All in all, it's really, really cool. So yeah, we're gonna build a little bit of a nursery somewhere. I'm thinking... Actually, you know what? I don't know where we're gonna put it. We gotta find a spot. Maybe... No, that's too small up there. I don't know. Let me look around for a little bit and make some materials. Oh! I forgot to show you guys. Um, on the, the trip back from going over there and exploring on the back of the Saber, I found this dude. Or this gal she was a 168 I believe I can't remember exactly what the what the level was we tamed it out but I went back and grabbed her with the RG and I got her all tamed up so this thing is weird man <laughs> this thing is so weird it has some sort of like healing aura about it so we're gonna bump bump health on this thing because it may become useful later I need it to be kind of tanky but yeah so if I right click you can see that it's just pumping out these green waves and it's healing all of our dinos. It looks like it's healing this guy. Were you hurt? No, that's, that's not showing me the right inventory. But yeah, so while I'm doing this, it drops its food like crazy. So you can see it's had 10,000 and it was full, but just since I turned it on, it's already dropped down. It's dropping like, was it like 60 or 70 something? Yeah, it's about 60. That is kind of nuts <laughs> that it loses that much food just for that power. But I love the way it runs. Look at this guy. <laughs> She's so sassy <laughs> with the little tail wagon. I love it. Um, but yeah, so I just, this was kind of just one of those chance tames or whatever. She was a high level. And uh, I figured I might as well go ahead and grab it while we could. So I went and got some raw mutton, got her all tamed up, and she came out with, uh, I think, maybe one or two levels shy of what she could have tamed out at so not too bad but anyways give me just a little bit I'm gonna look around for a spot for a nursery and then we're gonna hatch up these uh what are they called <laughs> I forget what they're called hold on before we cut make sure let's not look like a moron we can do this dimorph dimorphodon that's what it is <laughs> so give me a second I'll be right back oh I deactivated it somehow I think by pushing okay yeah my middle mouse clicked on it. Gotcha. I just wasted a bunch of propellant. That's fine. Alright, so I think we're going to try to set this up underneath the dodo cage here. Um, with the item collector now, we won't really need this ladder here to get up and down. Because um, we won't really need to go up there. And I do have that second way in. So we can go ahead and pick up this ladder here. Got to be careful because... Getting some. There it goes. I was getting some really weird lag, and I just want to make sure that I'm not demolishing anything that shouldn't be getting demolished. But, um, yeah, so let's try to set this guy up right here. It might be a little tall. That's fine, though. Uh, so let's put that there. You there. And I'm definitely going to need some more stuff. But what I wanted to do 
Whoa. You didn't place correctly. There you go. That's what I'm looking for. So I'm thinking what we can do here is we can come out with ceilings. I probably want another couple of rows with uh, foundations and stuff like here. So maybe like two more out this way. But we'll have a way up on top and then we'll come out with ceilings. And the reason I want to do that is so I can put torches underneath if we need to. Depending on what needs heat and all that kind of stuff. We could do air conditioners too if we wanted to. But I think torches... Um, for the most part should be fine at least for some of the ones that require a lot of heat um, So we will see what happens, but give me a little bit I'm gonna craft up the rest of what we need try to build out the structure a little bit and then uh, we'll go from there <laughs> Sometimes you find these spots with s plus stuff that is just so finicky That you just kind of get frustrated and give up on it. And this is one of those spots. Oh got it finally <laughs> that took so long. Um, all right, so we need to get this guy up out of the way. Wow, this guy has quite a bit of weight. I'm gonna say I got a lot of stuff in my inventory. Um, but yeah, so let's do our roofs here. I think this is gonna be a temporary structure because I'm not really liking the way it looks. <laughs> um, at least right now. We will see kind of what happens here, but come out one more like so, and then I. Th I think we should be good. Now I'm wondering, I have these things, and I've been seeing people be able to put air conditioning in these windows, <laughs> and I'm wondering if I put them down here, if it'll reach up top? I think it probably would, but I think for the time being I'm just going to put them kind of in this corner here. I don't know if we're going to make air conditioners stay. If we need them, if the eggs aren't going to like hatch, then we'll do something about it. But um, we're going to find out because I don't know. Oh, I need to feed my dinos. I'll have to do a berry run before I log off tonight. But yeah, so let's go ahead and grab the eggs real quick and drop them just to see what they do. If they need anything. Um, we're just going to do, I think, actually, you know what? We'll do both of them at the same time. And I need to make sure that I have plenty of meat. I think I do over here in this trough. But if not, I can go grab some. Um, but I just got to make sure that they get through. Uh, I might need to make a run real quick. <laughs> that's not, I mean, that's probably enough. But I just don't know how it's going to work. Um, so let's drop one of these eggs real quick. So drop. Too cold? Yeah, too cold. So we need to get stuff crafted up. Alright, so give me just a one second. One more second I'll be right back. <laughs> now I guess while I'm out here too, I ought to show you my uh, <laughs> my new best friend. So I had this gun and I just decided to go ahead and craft up the scope for it and it makes shooting this thing a lot easier but I mainly have this thing because of those stupid birds man. They're so hard to hit just kind of like using the iron sights and stuff but with the scope it's much easier. Um, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun to use too. I have quite a bit of ammo for it. Let's see if we can find something else to shoot. Uh, not seeing much else. I don't want to shoot the trikes because they'll gank me. Is there anything else up here? Any pego mastics, please? No? No pegos? I don't see nothing, uh, but this gun does an insane amount of damage, which is awesome. It has, if I can open up my inventory, a little bit of laggy. There it goes. Um, but yes, yeah, so this one does 522% weapon damage, which is insane. I have another one that does like 400, which was nice, um, but this guy is just much better. So, <laughs> really, really cool thing. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just very nice to have in a pinch. God, I feel awful doing this. Oh, I missed. <laughs> but yeah, headshots do a lot of damage, which is awesome. Um, there it is. <laughs> but it is really fun. Alright, so I'm hoping that this will reach uh, from the generator there. So I've got these three air conditioners. Oh, and it is powered. Okay, cool. So what about this one? good 
We're all powered. So now I believe if we drop these eggs, we should be good. Let's drop this one. Oh! That was quick. Imprint. Okay, and let's go ahead and drop this one too. No! Are you kidding me? <laughs> or I'm so sorry, man. I ate your baby. I pressed the wrong button. Oh no, I ate your brother or sister. We'll never know. Oh god, I feel like such a terrible human being. <laughs> oh. That was terrible. Oh no, it's been so long since I messed with any of this. I hit the wrong button. <laughs> oh no. Okay, well, I'm just gonna make sure you stay alive, that's for sure. So, I guess I'm just gonna give this a little bit and, uh. He was too young to remember, right? He was too young to know that he had a brother or sister. Oh god, that's terrible. <laughs> oh no. Oh, he's so cute. Get him go. <laughs> These things are oddly adorable. Um, even though they look like vicious, vicious predators. God, I feel so bad about uh, his sibling. Oh, that is terrible. You can't trust me with anything. <laughs> I just, I break everything I touch. Alright, time to learn your wings. Come on, you can do it. Fly. Whee! <laughs> um, Alright, yeah, so I think while this guy finishes growing, he doesn't, he's about halfway there, so I think this is probably going to take about like 30 minutes or so. Um, or about 15 or 20 minutes more. I am actually going to move... Oh, stupid Pego stole my demo gun. Um, I'm going to move all of this stuff because I think I found a better spot for it, which I think will be cool. Uh, or at least a cool spot to set it up for now. We'll probably end up moving, but since we're waiting, I might as well start building. And uh, we'll just kind of see what happens. So I'm going to pick up all this stuff here. And then, I'll oh, go ahead and pick you up, get you out of the way, and then we will come back here in just a minute. I'll show you the spot. Yeah, you know what? I think we're gonna wait. <laughs> I can't quite get the shape right, but shape right, and it's driving me nuts. So I think what we're gonna actually do is we are going to wait. I think within the next couple of episodes or so. We're going to poke our heads into Aberration. I don't really want to get started over there until we kind of get um, a strong foothold over here. Like, I'd have to, I'd like to have my own big base and stuff set up before we go start on another server. But, I want cliff platforms. And I need to be able to craft my own instead of relying on other people to do it for me. And uh, I think the cliff platform would look really cool up here. Like, I think we could have like a big circle dock or platform up here, which would be neat. So, we're going to wait. <laughs> we're gonna wait before we build some sort of daycare and uh, we'll try it again some other time once we have the cliff platform but if we could build on that that would be really really cool um <laughs> can we just do BC's and transfer all can I move oh I can move still god <laughs> that is so much poop um, all right, so we're gonna make a whole bunch of sulfur here because I want to check out these preserving salts and see what exactly they're all about. So if I throw all those in there. Oh, I gotta turn it on. Let's craft 66. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Uh, but for the salts, we need this uh, raw salt here. And that takes blood packs, which I did make. Oh, we have even more poop. Oops, I took the eggs too. I didn't mean to do that. I guess I just took everything from in there. Um, throw all the rest of that in there. Like so. Can we make 22 more? Perfect. Uh, but yeah, so I made one of these blood extraction syringes. I've... What in the world was that noise? <laughs> Never heard that one before. But yeah, so you just middle click on these. And it gives you these blood pack things, but it takes quite a bit of health. So it looks like it's do like 25, 25 health at a time. Yeah, so that's a little rough, and we don't want to kill ourselves doing this. Well, let's just grab like two more. <laughs> it's kind of sketchy. 
Take us down to about half health here. And then I think we throw these back in here. And then along with the sulfur, we can make these preserving salts. So that's kind of cool. Um, oh, that gives us quite a bit, though. That's not bad. Uh, so we can craft 15 of these. And these things, I guess, have some sort of spoil timer on them. 20 minutes. Yeah, created by Granny Salt. I never really got into Scorched Earth, so a lot of this Scorched Earth stuff I'm not familiar with. And I don't know exactly how it works, but I think if we put these in here... Oh yeah, it keeps that like way up. And I think... Can I put them in here? Doesn't do anything in here. If I take this out... Oh yeah, it bumps the uh, time it lasts inside here. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. And I think you can put them on your dino too. Uh, so let's take a look. I think you have anything? Oh, he's just about grown too. That's awesome. Um, I think I can put that in here. Yeah, so 17 minutes to put it in there makes it 35. So that's pretty cool. You can put it in your dinos, like if you want to make a prime meat run or something like that, you just fill it up with the salt and then go get your meat and you have time to get back to wherever you want to go to. So that is really, really handy. I've never played around with it before. So <laughs> you learn something new every day, I guess. Um, but yeah, so we're going to come back in about one minute or so and uh, we'll see what kind of care this guy wants. He may grow up before he needs the care though. I'm not sure what that means. All right, just about there. What do you want? He wants to go on a walk with me? Come on, quick! <laughs> quick! Is it gonna be enough time? He's just about fully grown. I don't know if it's gonna actually work or not. We're just gonna go until that little pacifier thing goes away. Imprinting, yes. Okay, we got 100% on the imprinting, and he's just about grown. That is way cool, man. <laughs> Alright, so follow me. We'll keep walking. Can we get the imprinting even higher? I think once it kind of pops up like that, that pretty much means it's done. But I don't know for sure. I've never actually... Well, I've bred dinos before, but it's been a long time. This was before the imprinting. But I've seen quite a few videos and stuff on it, so I'm not exactly sure how it works. Okay, so you are fully grown now. Let's check out your stats. Uh, you got about a thousand health. That's not bad. Stamina's pretty good. Wait, I'm guessing this is all good for a dimorph. I don't think I've ever actually tamed a dimorph before. If I have, I've forgotten about it. But, rapidity, imprinting 100%. Yeah, so that's kind of cool. I think we can pick this guy up. He's like the OG shoulder pet. Uh, let's go K mode. <laughs> Very cool. I'm terribly sorry I ate your brother or sister. We'll never know. Uh, but yeah, so Ormond, we got the colors right, man. You guys, you nailed it. That is like the perfect color. He looks so cool. <laughs> Very nice. Um, let's see if you can kill a dodo. If I throw you out, you're going to follow me, aren't you? Or will you take off off my shoulder? Uh, I'm starving. Hold on. Let's see. Where is a dodo when I need one? There's a dodo. Will you attack him? Yeah! <laughs> Get him! So I heard that these guys are actually really handy, like if you have a whole bunch of them, they can actually do a lot of damage because they're so hard to hit that your targets and stuff, um, they have trouble hitting them back so I don't know we may have to check it out eventually 
Hopefully, if I get any more eggs from anybody, I don't eat it on accident. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, but yeah, so I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here for today. Sorry it was a little bit on the short side, I know, but it's super late and I got to go to bed because I got work tomorrow. So we will call it here. So thank you, Ormondon, for the, uh, the really awesome gift. I'm sorry I ate one of them, <laughs> but it tasted really pretty good, actually. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully that doesn't happen again. All right, can you land? That'd be cool if you could land. Are you just gonna take off like a kite? Okay, there you go. Um, can I pick you up? Put you over here. There we go. It looks like a good spot for you. But anyways, dudes, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure you hit that like button for me down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Go check out everybody else on the server. Like I said, always, there are links in the description down below. And uh, I will see you guys next time. All right, thanks so much for watching. Peace.